Beijing, booming capital of a new superpower. Once a city of bicycles and empty boulevards, now changed virtually beyond all recognition. 3.5 million cars, citywide traffic jams. Beijing has added 1.5 million residents in the last year alone. The city is growing faster than its infrastructure can support. Enter a solution on a gigantic scale. The biggest subway in the entire world. Beijing's eight metro lines will grow to 19. 400 kilometers of new subway will be built underneath the city. Cutting edge security will keep passengers safe in 200 new stations. A state of the art signaling system will revolutionize the way trains run. As the dragon roars into the future, it needs this subway more than ever. But can Beijing's engineers rise to the challenge? The world is watching. Beijing subway is a world record breaker, the biggest system ever designed. From 200 kilometers today, the metro will grow to 560 kilometers, and it will be done in record time. First feeling is that、uh, they are crazy. It's impossible to do that,、uh, but I think impossible is not Chinese. If they want to do it, they will do it. Sophisticated new trains will serve futuristic stations. Innovative technology will create what is possibly the world's safest, most efficient, and profitable transport system. I think by 2015, Beijing subway will be not only the biggest, but also the best. In many great cities, the subway came first. The metropolis grew up around the metro. New York's underground tracks were laid when parts of Manhattan hadn't even been built. But Beijing has been here for centuries. It is no blank canvas, and the metro's chief engineer. Yang Shurun knows that is a problem. People think the construction of subway is easy because they are underground and they don't have anything to get in their way. This isn't true. We have lots of things to take into consideration. To come up with the route for Beijing's 17 new lines, city planners had to consider: where is Beijing's worst traffic? Where do the most people live? The 400 kilometers of new tunnels also had to be built, avoiding the huge foundations of skyscrapers and fragile ancient buildings. One example demonstrates how flexible they had to be. Line eight runs along the axis of Beijing. If we go along the axis straight from south to north, it passes underneath the Forbidden City, causing problems for the ancient buildings there. So, in the south section, we went around to the east, completely avoiding the Imperial Palace. It took years of negotiation to finalize the subway map, but now. They have it. Chief Engineer Yang must deliver this record-breaking system. He knows it won't be easy. Tunneling is one of the most hazardous jobs in construction, and Beijing has some of the most dangerous geology in the world for tunneling. 
The men of the Beijing Urban Exploration Unit labor into the night while the rest of the city sleeps. They have the dirty job of working out Beijing's dangerous geology meter by meter. We're just like doctors. Visit the site, drill, get samples, go back and go through lab tests, then diagnose the geology conditions. To build the world's biggest subway, work must go on 24/7. They penetrate down 40 meters to extract a 15 centimeter wide core. That core is a snapshot of the ground below. Tonight's location is Chaoyangmen Junction, the site of a planned new tunnel for Metro Line Six. There are two things the team doesn't want to find tonight. Water and sand. For together, they can create the tunneler's nightmare. Quicksand. Beijing is infamous for it. The pressure is on. Okay, here we go. Can you take a look? Let's take a look. Okay, okay. 然后，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有点饱和，有